This is Twit. Okay. What, what are we talking about? Uh, Blue screen of soup. Oh, oh, no. So was... Richard has a, a tale of woe. Oh, yeah. To tell related to this, I guess. It's not. No, not at all. No, not at it's, all. I mean, I okay. stuck it in the window section. Which there's nowhere else for it to go. But Okay. Yeah. I, you know. I, <laughs> I, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Friday night, I get ping by a sysadmin friend of mine saying uh oh it looks like we've got a we've been we've been breached Uh oh and i'm like "Uh oh like there goes your weekend Uh oh and and what it what what he he actually shared a screen show what was going on at least it wasn't uh, like a big family holiday type weekend or anything no nothing like that but in and he had a bunch of accounts it was like 50 out of 300 or so marked as leaked so when you're signed up in AAD with mm-hmm. with uh, the security protections and stuff, they're always watching for have credentials been leaked. So the, one of the thoughts was, you know, so it could be, could be that you're breached. Yeah. So now we go, th- we take a quick boo through the logs, no strange logins. Right. So now, all right, um, maybe it's a paste bin, right? Well, wait a second. One of the accounts that's leaked here is like two days old. That wouldn't be in a paste bin. Like this right. is, this is odd. Uh, and it showed up on Reddit shortly within an, within an hour. It was on. There was folks on Reddit talking about it uh, because it happened to a bunch of folks. Although they, uh, one thing that was all in common with them, which surprised me, was it was only uh, partner accounts. So folks that are Microsoft partners and run an Azure tenant. Uh, and more analysis going on, they found that there was a push that deployed a piece of software into their tenant. In the evening on Friday. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Jeez. And, in, and within seconds of this piece of software starting up in your tenant, it started marking counts as leaked. Uh, it was a bug in that piece of software. And the, apparently there was somebody back at Microsoft that realized it was happening and fixed it by, uh, it was generating some bad tokens. And so it invalidated all the tokens and invalidating the tokens is what marked them all as leaked. The, the, the fix, of course, would be for each of those accounts now to go through an account recovery process and change password, or the administrator could mark them all as safe, which nobody really wants to do. But, you know, yep. if you really believe it was not a breach. But the, the problem is that once you've got, I've been breached in my head, it's really hard to get it out of your head. <laughs> so, like, did, there's a whole yep. lot of administrators that were stressed over the weekend and I just summarized a day's worth of futzing about yeah. and getting through PSS to find out that this is what actually happened. Well, they didn't have anything better to do. I mean, what was the difference? Yeah, I should code on a Friday afternoon. Thanks That's for the that. Worst. That's very kind. That's just the worst. Well, and in, in here in uh, Australia, because we're in the future, uh, it was Saturday morning when that happened. Oh, okay. Right. On a, on a long weekend with everybody away. Yeah, yeah, always, always the best time. Yeah, that's when it happens. Yeah. But yeah. it resolved itself. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, I guess. But not before scary. <laughs> that's like, you know, I recovered from you jumping around the corner and scaring the crap out of me. But, <laughs> you know, yeah. it still happened. You know, like, it's still like, you know, like oof, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. It could be Pure worse. Pure system in a little crisis. But, you know, this is, if you ever wondered why your administrator is grumpy, this is one of the reasons. Yeah. This is the price yeah. they pay for that yeah. big title and the big salary. There you go. <laughs> Both dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's too bad. That's, that's, I told my wife in the elevator this morning coming back for her. I was like, you know, I'd like to, I'd like, I want to get paid everything I get paid, but I want to do nothing that I'm doing. <laughs> is there a, when does that happen? It's called retirement. Says, that's Paul. what she said. She said, you're describing retirement. And I said, what is, this, what is this wonderful Shangri-La? I, In the era of tariffs, it's not paid yeah, as much as not it as was. Good. It's not as good. I'm watching, I'm just watching my, you know, everything got rolled into a, uh, an IRA, you know, mm-hmm. a self-managed IRA, but it's still right. sitting there and it's, I'm just watching the value and I'm, I got to live on this. Fortunately, I'm almost dead. So it's probably okay, but <laughs> yeah, I feel that so lucky, myself. Leo, so lucky. 
Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.